Hello, welcome to my Sunday from. I get asked a lot about um, tips on makeup. As you can see, I have powder on my face and I curl my lashes and I have some balm on. But that's it. I basically have a clean face. As you can see, my blemishes, my natural um, skin tone and um, freckles, you name it. You can see it. And so I wanted to give you guys some, some of my tips um, because, like, I get asked sometimes about, you know, advice and stuff. And I wanted to give you guys my best advice because I know it's not easy to just get all dolled up. And, um, and for you guys criticizing that guys don't need makeup, like, guys wear makeup, obviously, guys are guys. Like, they're going to put something on because life is not perfect like if you need makeup say like you have a blemish you're gonna want to cover it like get over it you're gonna cover your blemishes you're gonna cover your scars you're gonna cover your um patchy um, discoloration anybody does that everybody does that i you know even tattoos if you have facial tattoos you know and well we'll get into that first actually like um I have concealer. This is just Maybelline New York. It says Maybelline New York. <laughs> um, I don't know what shade it is. It says Ivory 5. But um, I just go in to wherever I want to cover, which is usually like colors. Like if you see any colors that you don't like, you see any skin tones that you don't like. I always do parts of my um, face that I want to make sure is not, is patchy. Like there's some parts of my face that don't match the rest. And I don't like that because then it doesn't look um, flawless. So you go in and I use a cotton I just use a cotton. I literally buy a ton of cotton swabs and I literally use cotton. I have always used cotton. Um, I've tried other methods and they just waste product and I don't like that. And so as you can see, it works right away. Tap it on the spot. Tap it directly on the spot. it goes away this doesn't get rid of any like say you have eye bags this doesn't get rid of eye bags but it does get rid of like the the depth perception um, when you see somebody direct it gets rid of the depth perception that there is hollows in your eye um, and another tip i can give you is that if you do have under eye bags a lot they go all the way down here so hit those with some concealer and another thing that i want to emphasize is where your eyes begin to hollow they begin to hollow around the orbital bone and there's some parts of your eye that do need highlight. Do you know where your frowns are? Your frowns are here, right here. But right here, between your eyes, is a center. It's like when people look at your eyes, that's the center part. So they may be looking a little bit up, but nobody looks directly at your eyes. So. They usually generally see right here and that's usually our blind spot when we're getting ready and dressed we never cover that spot so try to cover that spot you see immediately immediately gone and right here your crow's feet i know everybody likes crow's feet 
but the color is like a teardrop. A teardrop is right there. Just like right here is your teardrop. Your hollows is a teardrop. This is your sinuses right here, the bag. You just hit it a little bit with the concealer. I'll kind of blend it in, smudge it a little bit. Gone. You want to get up here? You can get a little bit up here. I just think it's a little bit more natural just to leave it. But, you know, this is just like touch and go. Touch and go. See? Kind of fast. It took me five minutes to get it. Also, like if you pluck your eyebrow, even if you're a boy, if you pluck your brow, you're going to have like a little bit of growth. And if you want, you can get the growth, right? Growth and discoloration. Like if you don't pluck usually and you just freshly depilitated your eye, maybe you had a little bit of old man overgrowth. <laughs> Maybe you had a little bit of, um, you know how the bushy eyebrow trend is in? Maybe you just got tired of that look. There's going to be a little bit of discoloration afterwards. Just hit it a little bit. Just like that. You see how immediately you look a little bit fresh, a little bit more fresher. See that? Blend it in. Boom. Another part of your mouth. Right there, the Cupid's bow. That's where your sinuses drain. Just go down like this. Looks a little bit fresher. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and when you do your nose, you just go in a little bit. Because like I said, that's where your sinuses drain. The next thing is your eyes. Let's get into that. I have here, um, where did I put it? My pencils. I have here a pink pencil. I have a white pencil. And I have a gold pencil. And these are important because when you're highlighting your eye, You want to go in and you want to be natural, but you want to go in up here just to brighten it a little bit. And this is a trick that I always do whenever I'm doing a set of pictures that I'm going to publish online, like a photo shoot. I want to make sure that my eyes don't look like I'm dragging. And it just like makes it pop a little bit. You can see it a little bit, but it's not like obvious until you do the rest. So here I go in with the pencil. On the waterline.
and you can't really tell. You see that? Both of them you can't really tell. And the pink, I like to go in with the pink in the duct because you can't see it. But a lot of times our duct is discolored. And in pictures or, you know, in person, you want to make a good impression that you're fresh and wide-eyed and bushy-tailed. And this is the first part that I always notice when somebody's alert and, um, you know, in interacting with me, like, 100%. Like, I always look, they really rested. And that's how I see very subtle very very subtle um i also get asked a lot about um my brows i don't do anything really with my brow this is the color it's just a blonde brow pencil i just go in to darken just to darken it a bit. So that way it comes out in pictures. Literally. And like I said, you can just use um, clear mascara to hold it in place. Um, so... Another thing I get asked about is the um, contour. I can find my contour stick. I have a contour stick that I use, and it's double sided. Like it has a highlighter and it has the contour. So the contour is like so easy, but you have to remember where you go like along your scalp, right? And along your cheekbone. Um, you can go under here to darken it and make your neck look slimmer. It's just to make your neck look slimmer. And you can go here so basically you can connect them and it makes your your face look smaller as much as you want and i'm going to show you the contrast because also is highlight and that goes here, here, on your cheekbones, on top of your cheekbone, on top, your chin. See this little part of your nose, the little tip? It goes up the bridge. And you don't have to go right here where we did the concealer because you might mess it up. So you can do the center of your forehead. And um, people also contour in their eye. I like to keep everything natural, so I don't do that. Um, not to say I don't do it sometimes, I do. So I like to hit the light color first. And if you want to contour your nose to make it look smaller, like um, it's kind of like a trend now. So it's okay to do it. You know, you just go in the sides of your nose. Um, avoid the, the the edges right here, the tips of your nose, the sides of it. Cut it off in the before the tip. And right here, your cupid's bow starts, where it meets your cupid's bow. Hit that part with some contour, and just rub it all in. Rub it all in like that see that see how it just smudges right back in try not to um, mix the color 
but go back in to your scalp all the way in with the contour on the forehead and your cheekbone underneath the, the highlight. But here your temple, it goes all the way back to your scalp. So blend it, blend it in and avoid your hairline because it'll um, mix in the color. Makeup and hair does not mix, guys. So just so you know, and don't forget to blend it into your neck like this. So these are just a little bit of tips that I, I use. But you can see right away, my eyes look alert. My skin looks fresh. There's no like blemishes. This is just blending the highlight in. And the forehead, don't forget the middle of your forehead. Blend it in, blend it into the contour. Yeah. Right here, blend that into the contour and make sure you get under your ear where your neck and your jawline meet. Because people look, you see? The last thing I wanna show you is how to get like a flesh color back to your face. Even if you are like totally drained, I have this little tube of makeup that I always keep in on hand and it's called a three in one. This is e.l.f. monochromatic multi-stick. So it has a little bit of metallic color to it. But this is how. I literally have done this my whole life, but this is a three-in-one. I, I just use any any blush, any shadow. If it's pink, I just grab it because this is my lifesaver. I have um, gone to school, worked, and had my um, extra whatever I had going on, art, whatever I had going on, some type of artistic thing. And so, like, I always had a full day of, you know, hitting it hard. You gotta keep going. So this is my lifesaver. I literally just dab it on to make a flesh color come back. Just smudge it in. Is it, you can use discretion but it literally, your blood is literally circulating. At this point, this is makeup, like this is meant for this. So you really, you're really snatched now, ladies. <laughs> and if you really need it, um, I guess this would be fine, right? Your cheeks and the top of your lid. So I don't really like to use a lot because I don't like to look like I have makeup on. I just like to look fresh sometimes, most of the time. So get in there, blend it, make it look like you're just fresh and blushing a little bit from working so hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just gives it a little bit more color back to your face. That way you don't look drained, like you're complaining to the world, screaming to the world, I have a full day of work. No, this is easy. This is like pie, easy as pie. No sweat, I got this. Today, I got it. See? How easy that is and if you want you can go in and just darken your lash line okay. 
and blend that in. That's how I look refreshed, but um, pretty easy, pretty simple techniques. And I hope you guys use them. I hope you guys learn something because, you know, life's not perfect. And sometimes you just got to use a little bit of concealer. <laughs> you just got to, you know, press on, you know. Why well, tell everybody you have a full plate? They don't need to know. They don't care. <laughs> And you want to look better than everybody in the room. Anyway, look how easy that is. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys like it. See you guys again soon on my Sunday front. Bye-bye.